What's going on everybody, Josh Pocock here. And in today's video, we are gonna be looking at how to leverage OpenAI's newest models, O1 and O1 Mini, in the AI powered developer console on the engineer. Let's dive right into it. All right guys, so if you've been following this channel, you may know that we have covered Omni Engineer already but it actually came out with a lot of new updates that we will talk about in this video. And now them, along with a lot of other AI pair programming tools, such as Claude Dev and a bunch of different other ones are getting O1 support. So I'm gonna show you how you can use it and build some really cool stuff with it. So if you don't know about Omni Engineer, it's actually made by the same founder as Claude Engineer. So um, basically Claude Engineer is kind of like Omni Engineer, but just specifically for Claude. On the engineer is really great so i'm not going to go through this whole github and read everything i'll leave it down below a link but a few things to note we have ai powered responses and streaming output advanced file management so you can do things like add edit create show content so a lot of cool things such as claude dev can do and aider and even cursor composer so it can actually edit create files which is really nice i really like that in an ai coding tool and then multi-file editing support which is really good web searching with DuckDuckGo integration, which is pretty cool. Image processing for local files and URLs, undo functionality for file edits, convert conversation, save and load, syntax highlighting for code, GIF display for file changes, kind of like how cursor has that, and then AI model selection and switching. Then it goes so through some commands right here. We'll div get into that in a second, but let's dive into the installation. So it's actually very simple to get set up and running. All you're going to do is git clone this repo. So you're going to go into your com command terminal if you don't know how to do that. And you're literally just going to copy and paste this command, which is git and then clone and then that link. Okay. I'm not going to do it because I've already done that. And you're going to want to do it in a location where you're okay with having that, that folder um, there, right? So I usually put it in my desktop in a folder uh, called something like development, right? And then, then you're going to CD into Omni Engineer. So you're literally just going to change directory into that folder by running that command right there. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to install the required packages. So you're just going to run pip install dash r requirements dot txt. It's going to install all their different requirements that Omni, Omni Engineer needs. This is what I do is I just go um if you have vs code you can type code dot and it's going to open that folder directory in vs code or you can just go to vs code and open that on the engineer folder from the repo that you just cloned and open it in vs code so now that you have it open in vs code one thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have this dot env dot example file and you're going to want to copy it and paste it so you can see here i have a dot env file and you're going to want to rename it to that okay then once you go inside you're going to want to enter your open router api key now if you're not familiar with open router i've talked about it multiple times on this channel but essentially it's a unified interface for llms so if you've seen the o1 and o1 mini rollout and you may already know this for devs and through the API, there are limitations. So if you're not at tier five in your developer or your API account, your platform.openai account, then you won't have access to these new models. All right, so that's one of the beauties with Open Router. It connects to pretty much any model you can think of and including these new models. And they take a little, per, uh, a few cents or whatever. I don't know exactly how much they charge, but it's, you know, to get to use these new models, it's definitely worth it if you don't have access to them. So. Sign up for Open Router and then paste in your API key into the VS Code area right here. And if you go to the main.py file, just so you guys know, at line 32 and line 33, you'll see the base URL for Open Router as well as the Open Router API key referencing from your .env. And then at line 36 and line 37, you'll see the default model and the editor model. So this is really cool because you'll notice that the default model, which is used for planning, is OpenAI 01 Mini, the new model, right? You can change this to 01 Preview as well, right? We'll keep it at 01 Mini for now. And then the editor model is Anthropic Claude Sonnet 3.5. Now this is really good because just to quickly let you guys know, if you don't know about these models and kind of where their strong suits are, well, for OpenAI 01 and 01 Mini, it 
main strength it has is its reasoning capabilities. So it's going to reason a lot more, think things through, uh, but it's also going to take a little bit longer. So it's good to have this model potentially as a planner model. And that's why it's good that it's potentially at the default. And you can use these two models. Like I've talked about too, if you've seen some of my cursor videos where I say I, I'll use different models, I still use Claude Sonnet 3.5. And Claude Sonnet 3.5 is a lot faster, a lot more cost effective. And in my opinion, it's better for um, the just a dev experience when you're doing edits. And lots of times you can even use Claude Sonnet even just for planning too. It's still a really great model, right? And it's more cost effective and faster but this is a good strategy to leverage the best of both worlds from these two models and you can also change these to really anything as you can see here you can change it to gpt 40 llama anthropic mistral whatever right so what do you do once you're done that well you run the python not omni dot engine or dash engine dot pi don't do that you're gonna run python uh and then main dot pi okay just like the name shows right here python main dot pi that's going to bring up the Omni engineer interface. So it's going to say, welcome to the assistant developer console. And then you'll see the different command options. So we have add, edit, new, search, image, clear, reset, diff, all the different options that I covered before. You'll have access to them here. And you can simply just type this and you'll see all the different options. You can add, edit. So we could go ahead and say, add a file to your AI's knowledge base or edit an existing file or create new files. So we'll go ahead and do a prompt right now. All right, so one thing to note is if you want it to do something like for, per se, like with cursor, where you just tell composer, hey, this is what I want. And it starts going, creating the files, doing everything in a nice seamless way. Well, this is good, but it's not there, okay? I, I mean, I'm a fan of, a huge fan of cursor, but, all right, so we're going to use forward slash new and then index.html. And then we created that and it's going to ask us if we want to edit it. We're going to say yes. And then I'm going to paste this in. So create a modern task manager application using JS, CSS, and HTML. The user should be able to create new tasks, create new Kanban boards, add notes, and more. Make it function very well. Make it look very professional. All right, as that's running, you'll see I also asked the same question up here. And if you just ask it, it's going to provide like a project structure, as you can see here, and it's going to give you the code. And, and this is using the O1 model. And you can see here, it's very descriptive. We got the JavaScript code. We got the data structure, pretty much everything you could think of, different functions, and then even additional notes at the end on how to enhance it or add additional features like drag and drop libraries, responsiveness enhancements, user authentication, styling improvements. Okay, so you can see here that the index.html has been successfully edited and saved. And we can see that's right in our file right here. So let's go ahead and check this out. All right, so we can see here that it actually didn't put the CSS and JS into the HTML file. So I'm going to edit it and ask it to change that. Please put all the CSS, JS, and HTML in this file with a professional modern feel. Now, obviously you wouldn't want all your code in one file, but this is just for testing purposes. Okay, so we can see it's making the changes right now. All right, so this looks a lot better. Okay, we can add a new board here. Let's go ahead and put test and boom. Okay, this is actually really like, I know it's not really nice, but it's a lot nicer than what it just was. So let's add a task. Let's do a test task, test description. Boom. Wow. Okay, so let's add another board. Test to create. Chem oh, wow. So we even have drag and drop functionality. I didn't even ask for that. So this is actually pretty uh, impressive. Yeah, I'm actually very happy with what we got so far. Let's go ahead and even try to improve it a bit more. All right, so here I'm saying looks great. Please add due date fields in new task option and make it even look more modern like a Fortune 500 software company. Get creative and add new features that I didn't even think of. Try to really impress me and go above and beyond with your creative coding talents. Let's see what we get here. Okay, so this is strange. I don't know if this is... I'm assuming this is open AI, but look at what we get here. Errors in streaming response, error message, invalid prompt. Your prompt was flagged as potentially violating our usage policy. Please try again with a different prompt. All right, guys, I don't know if it's glitched out or if it's just taking very long, but I've literally been waiting for about 10 minutes for this prompt to generate. I don't know if it's open AI's 01, just thinking but I've never had it take this long. So 
So I may just end it off here. Other than that, I think this is a really good useful tool on the engineer and a good combination with O1 and Claude. No, I personally don't think it is as good as something like Cursor. Um, I think Cursor is just a really good dev experience and I'm going to do more videos on Cursor showing you guys how to build out more intricate builds. If you want me to do a video on any specific topic, let me know in the comments down below, guys. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you're new here, we upload videos every single day on AI, automation, business growth, sales, marketing, etc. So if you want to stay up to date with the daily uploads, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and comment down below what's your favorite AI pair programmer? Is it Cursor? Is it Claude Dev? Continue Dev? Aider? Claude Engineer? Omni Engineer? What is it? Have you tried Omni Engineer yourself? If so, let me know in the comments down below how you think it stacks up to some of the other ones. And other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for the recent 6,000 subscribers, road to 6, 7K, and then of course 10K on the way. If you haven't already checked out our free community, strikecommunity.com, link for that will be in the description down below, our free Facebook group, free Discord channel. Other than that, see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride, take care.